All right, so today we're doing a quick tour of the OWL platform. We'll do a refresher on some of the screens and then we'll jump right into how to layer in rules. So from the scorecard view, right, you see data quality over time. These are scans that have already been run, slices of time. I'm gonna go ahead and drill into a particular day, right? The idea being we can see uh, which tab contributes to the overall score. Here we can see our automatic data tests that get generated with every run. Well, it's great that you've got automation, but I want to run, you know, something very specific for compliance, for sleep well at night. So if we were down here, you might say, all right, you know, this is a primary key security ID. This is important. We need it. Uh, this can never be null. Let's give it a null check. Moving along, we might say, oh, currency, that needs to be filled in too. And that also needs to be a string, right? You never have numbers for representing a currency. Hey, you know what? The date always needs to be a date. So give me a date check. Moving along, we can graduate to something a little more complex. So we could say, you know what? The currency, uh, if this equals, you know, last time we had some Indian uh, rupees, that, that should never be the case, break on R, right, we'll give it a name and hit save. If you can write a where clause, you can write a simple rule. Um, and if you want to get, you know, even more complex, you could do something like a freeform SQL. And that allows you to put in kind of any standard SQL you might want to type. So you say, you know what, uh, where the QSIP is null and the currency is not equal to Australian dollar, you know, this scenario, whatever, condition check, let's see, we can name it, and we can hit save. So right there, you can see there's a number of different rule types ranging from column checks, conformity checks, uh, simple rules, you know, if you can write a where clause, you can write a simple rule, all the way up to the flexibility of freeform SQL. 